Here we are. Hey, uh, this is Undine. Shut up, Peppers. This was your idea. Human, deliver something for me. Uh, please? Wet Snowden in front of Peppers's. See ya, punk. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We, uh, just finished the normal route of Undertale. That's right, the normal route. There are three routes in this game. The normal route, the pacifist route, and, finally, the genocide route. So, the normal route involves this, okay, we fight, we leave, it's, it's over, you know, we go home. But the genocide route is where we kill everything, and it becomes an entirely different game. It's it's fair to say that it becomes a horror game with you as the monster. Because as we've just learned, EXP translates to execution points. So, and level, or love, stands for level of violence. So, to get the pacifist route, what we have to do is not kill any enemy on the normal route. Complete the normal route. And then, we just make friends with everyone and complete it again. As we've already done Undines and Papyruses, gone on dates with both of them technically. Why don't I do it myself? Um, well, oh, plushy! Papyrus, we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks, I wanted to go over there. So here you go. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much, you're the best. Unique letter written for Dr. Office. So, we go and transport this, and then we should be able to do the final route, the pacifist route, and say goodbye or say hello. I don't know. I spoiled myself on the genocide route uh, because I don't want to ever play it. And if you guys really want, you know, I'm going to try to convince, this is probably coming out way in the future, but I'm recording this really early on because I can't stop playing this game and it's so much fun. So in the future, there may be a genocide route of this on the channel. It's kind of a different game when you do that. I keep saying that, but let the letter under. No. Okay. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no! Is that another letter? Oh, but it, can't I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it, it shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Hey, if this is a joke, it's. Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I have no idea who could have. Oh my god, oh no. That's adorable. Well, I had no idea you um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too. After all the gross stuff I did, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this? So passionately. Oh, what? You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Okay. So Undine was about to ask Calvis on a date. Dating start. Huh? Uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. Alright, everybody. Okay. How do I look? My friend helped me figure out this dress. She's got a great sense of, uh, how many will I see this thing? We have experience with this, right? We Wait, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating, stop. Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. Oh my gosh, this is a dating game with. <laughs> oh man, this is perfect. We had successful outcomes today, right? I'm prepared. I've been sucked by the gifts and test in anticipation. Okay. Some metal armor polish. Oh, maybe we can't use that. But, I also brought some waterproof cream for your skin. Oh, your uh, skin. Well, how about the magical spirit? Uh, this is all stuff for undine. Um, let's go down. Let's just start the date. Dating, start! Yeah, let's uh, date. Okay. Uh. Yeah. 
A little bit awkward, huh? Do you like anime? Yes, I do. Yeah, me too. This is this is pretty accurate. Let's go somewhere. Where's a good place to go on a date? I got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. The perfect date in the garbage dump. Here we are. This is where Andy and I come all the time. We found all sorts of great stuff here. She's really, uh... Oh no, that's her over there. Can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because I will. Oh no, here she comes. <laughs> uh, there you are. I realize if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Oh, you don't have it? Yeah! Undine, you look like you really prettied up. You got your leather jacket and your little boots on. Yeah. Yes? She's right here somewhere. Thanks, I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, it's, it's obvious. It's, I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on like a cute kind of pretend date with you to, to make you feel better. But it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry I messed up again. I need the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But I, I mean, she's way out of my league. I don't know what kind of league you're in, actually, to be honest. You're in the Tumblr League. You're in the Otaku Otakon League. And she's in the Metal Gear Solid Snake League. But Andy, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody. Rod, I don't know what but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm, thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll, she'll find out the truth about me. Tell her the truth. Wait. The louder both people are happy, or truth and either of us are. To be yourself. I don't really like who myself is. Be just whatever makes people like me. No, you're right. You're damn scared. Yeah. This is getting this is getting a little bit deep. The truth. Obviously, let's roleplay. Roleplay? Actually, that's kinda of fun. Okay, which one will be on Dean? I'll be on Dean. It's easy for you to be yourself. Alright, oh, obviously. Yeah. How are you doing today? I'm fine. <laughs> Glad to hear it. I said I'd like to tell you about something. Then <laughs> she kisses you. I'm so tempted. I am so tempted. What? And he would never uh I kiss her back softly. I look gently into her eyes. I start hollering! Andine, I love you! Andine, kiss me again, Andine! What did you say? <laughs> uh, Andine, I was uh, just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Yep, yeah, it's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes! I mean, uh, no. We were, uh, I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was like scientifically important, really. It just, I just used it to make ice cream. Those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those, those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. At the time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, it's just eating frozen yogurt. Office. I just wanted to impress you. I wanted you to think I was smart and cool. I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. Undine, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. Shh. Shh. Uh. <laughs> Three pointer! Alphys! I think you're neat too, I guess. But you gotta realize, this is what you should have said. This is important to me. It doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. I like what you say. You're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is. You care about it. 100% at maximum power. So you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to lie to me anymore. I hope so to help you come happy with who you are. This is the greatest game. Oh, okay. She's gonna train. 
train? Senpai. Me? Oh, Jog boy. <laughs> Get those bones, Jake. What? Hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to set the timer. I'm doing. I'll do my best. Oh my god. She was kidding, right? Those cartoons. Those comics. Those are still real, right? Anime is real, right? I wish it was. No. No! I can feel my heart breaking into pieces! No, I can survive this. I have to be strong. For Alphys. Thank you, Healing. Telling me the truth. I'll try my best to live in this world. See you later. Alright. Back in the dump. That was an interesting experience. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I think I'm done. This isn't my good friend who trusts me. This is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now. Feel strongly and for no apparent reason, we should also go there. Do her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Alright, so now we have an actual destination. Uh... So, that date was... Hmm. That was, uh... I... I love the characters here. So... I'm really gonna have to see about getting somebody else to do the whole genocide run. Which, it might actually be going on at this point. I don't know. Don't sleep behind people's houses, you might be mistaken for a trash can. <laughs> But, alright, so we're almost through to the passive ending, let's go to her house, she's still watching us, like the big creeper she is, uh, based on the wall was only a few feet wide, and that opened up, so, read it, hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best, hey, thanks for your help back there, you guys, Court really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problems but mine. Oh, but if you don't ever hear from me again, you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. All right. Warning! Warning! Oh gosh! Oh no! Oh, this is the first time this has ever happened. Oh no! What? What's? It? Oh. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Well, that was great. Okay, everybody. See you next episode. We're dead. Eh. Yay! We're live. This is sinister. This is sinister indeed. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. We will be deprived from what was living. Right. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. By extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. So unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. One can make a monster soul of ass. I've done it. I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what the guys took out of their souls to strengthen this after death. They will keep living. The resolve to change fate. It's called this power. Determination. Oh. The determination we used to save is... Huh? 
Okay. True laboratory. Oh, chips. All right, we don't have enough more. Still have all the items that we had earlier. Power room. No ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator lost power. Enter the center door. So I can read. We can't enter it. It's locked. So let's um. Number six. Escort asked everyone outside the city for moths that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll turn to dust. What happens if I inject determination into them? The souls persist after the carriage then. Freedom might be closer than we all thought. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned to dust. So I can't get the souls. So the family said I'd give them back to the dust for the funerals. You are trying to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Ew. Okay. Turn on the sink. Turn on the sink. Turn on. Uh. Hi. <laughs> Item. Stat. So. Come join the fun. Come join the fun. Come join the fun. Okay. This is a abuse. Okay. It's there. There are key lines here. Brain dropped it. That's like a three. Alright. Freaky works. Now let's head back. And so apparently that was her experiment, I guess. It's a new. New onwards. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep everything. Oh, that's a great plan. Put this to work. That's a perfect plan. Going to do eyes over the sides. Gosh darn it. Empty dogs look cool. You have to wet. I got it. Okay. I feel like something will happen if I do this. Okay. I just wait. Wait for it. Uh. Okay, I pushed the button on accident. I'm scared that it's just going to instant kill me, and that is not cool. <laughs> I don't know if that's a hand or if that's something I should be concerned about. Oh. Oh. That's so nice. Alright, this bed's weird. Kill key. And everything that everyone that fallen down is woken up. No waking more. And talking, I think it's wrong. I thought they were gone. Seems like the future service is a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls and the vessel back to us. Call all the families so everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. No, 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 no. That's Johnny Alphys. I am moving so slowly. Is that a shower?
Okay, bye. That is evil. What? Uh, hi. Smells like sweet lemons. Hope you're my special hell. Okay, this is an interesting boss fight. Not boss, but. Dear, what do you have to do, Cameron? Shh, get your reaction. Glory, dearest. Adam, mom. Ask Glory and Torio. Weird, dog, okay. Hmm. Okay, that would be. Um, I'm a Mary. <laughs> mom, Iranian. It's gonna have a child, you know, if you make jokes like this one day, you could be famous, mom, Indian. I'm going to bed. That one was funny. Just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, good night, good night. Alright. Please ask for his home for this. Dear, are you ready? Do your creepy face. <laughs> Wait, Ed Blunt's kept on. Wait, you're not gonna do it again. Look who's tricking me. That's me. Oh my gosh. That's it. The child that Asgore, that As Asriel had taken up was definitively me, but I ended up coming back here for some reason. Please never smile for the camera, but I died. Any questions required for that, right? Recipe asks cups of butter. Next one put in butter cups instead. I thought I was getting really sick. I felt so bad. We made mom really upset. I it off like you did. I mean, where are you going? Oh, damn it. Okay. I don't like this idea, Zero. No, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Zero. Never. Yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. we get the flowers. This is... Can you hear me? Watch my cup. You have to stay determined. Your future of humans and monsters. You just have to get six. We'll do it together, right? What did I do? Sticky ones? Ew. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. Oh my gosh. What the heck's going on? DT extraction machine, SAS inactive.
to the moon. Alright. I would rather not find out what that actually is. Now let's go the other way. one's made it pig. He never talks to me anymore. That's what I ask when I'm about to go in to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends again. Afterwards, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Alright. That should clear the fog up. Smiley face. Hi, buddy. Oh, hi, doggo. See him now, mate. And store two. Uh. We will strap it down. This is. Gosh, Alice, what the heck are you doing? Like, oh my gosh, I guess this was a dog. Endogony. I don't quite fully understand that, but you know what? That's fine. Alright, so let's save. I'll check over here real quick. Mission number seven, we'll need a vessel to wield the monster soul for time comes. Monster can now absorb the soul, so the monsters just as human can absorb the soul for time. Find something that's not a human or monster. Let's turn some of us all value. This is being different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle. It seems just stick to you. Won't let go. Wait. Flowey? Okay, this is a uh, bit trippy. Oh, we finally get to a bit of courage. That's the uh, blue key place. I like this music. Heal up over here. And then head into the darkness. Star Trek style. I 
Someone's gonna call me to ask me where he's coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even have him. I don't even answer. Make sure we're 20. That score left me five messages today. Four by everyone being angry. What about this too cute teacup you found in the second? Thanks, Asgore. I saw this one shaking earlier. This a look empty. So the human or monster thing that you created was probably flowery. And yeah. power as we turned off and this one as well the last two notes which seemed really important actually okay that's a lot of gosh darn it Marcus, what the heck did you do Some food, okay? Sorry about that. You kind of sassy and don't get put on time. Um, anyway, I went out and I've been trying to turn back on, but it seems like you were one step ahead of me. Probably just a big inconvenience for you, but I appreciate they came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I just worried I would be too afraid. To tell the truth. Not run away or do something cowardly. I suppose I used an explanation. That's what asked me to say the nature of souls. Isolated power called determination. Yeah, failed pretty badly. Yeah. And what was those? Yeah. I'm right about all this. Putting them clean. Yeah. yeah, but you know what? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> All right. I'm very, I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. Here's just before the queen left. I wonder, what happened when something with Asgore gains the will to live? The flower's gone. Ring. 
It's a voice you have never heard before. Zero. Are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? So you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Zero. See you soon. Oh no! This is not great!